This is MSI's GTX 1080 Gaming X. It's their second to most high-end graphics card they do at the moment, and it's actually pretty awesome. We're going to take a look at it in this video as well as have the performance numbers, so do stick around and see how it compares to ASUS Strix and Gigabyte G1. So as usual, the back of the box has plenty of the new features including the uh, actually relatively tasteful RGB lighting and the gaming app that uh, I'll talk about a bit more later. Now the car itself is actually pretty massive. While it's not as long as some of the other ones, it's certainly one of the biggest, uh, widest cards out there with its 92mm fans uh, on the bottom there, which makes it, as I said, just very, very wide. It's a lot longer, or a lot wider than the PCI slot. Now in terms of the LEDs, they're kind of littered around the fans and this MSI logo on the side. And also on the side you do have some rather nice looking uh, heat pipes uh, to keep the card relatively nice and cool. In fact, in terms of temperatures, the maximum temperature I saw on the card was 71 degrees, so that's pretty awesome. You also have that extra 6 pin power connector alongside the 8 pin power connector to allow for a bit more overclocking headroom. And you do have a rather nice, uh, at least in my opinion anyway, looking back plate. Uh, the step up from this actually has an RGB uh, MSI logo on the back, but I actually kind of like this one a bit better. The rear IO is comprised of a single HDMI port, uh, three DisplayPort 1.3 slash 1.4 ports, and a DVI-D port. You also have 2560 CUDA cores, a boost clock of 1847, and a more standard core clock of 1708, that's on the OC mode in the gaming app, and you obviously have 8 gigs of GDDR5X. Now, in terms of the actual LED lighting, you can see them just along the side here. As I said, they are relatively tasteful and you can match them to your motherboard if you have uh, an MSI motherboard as well. The MSI gaming app was a little bit confusing to, to actually overclock with because it, if you have an MSI motherboard, it'll automatically select the CPU to be overclocked as well, but you do have some nice features in there too. Now in terms of performance, this thing, as you can expect, does really well, especially at 1440p and 4K, this is actually a really impressive card, obviously it's really impressive at 1080p as well, but despite its name, which I personally, you know, don't really like, um, it's still a, a very impressive card, but it's more aimed at, you know, high-end VR experiences, 1440p and 4K, and as you can see, you're easily looking at above 100 FPS in the majority of titles at 1440p and you're still looking at clear over 60 FPS average on pretty much every game on high settings at 4K right now, even Doom which was actually pretty difficult to run uh, was just awesome to, to play at both uh, 1080p, 1440p and 4K. So yeah, it's a really impressive card and uh, as I said, in terms of temperatures, the max temperature I saw was uh, 71 degrees on the core, although the actual card was ridiculously hot to touch even after I turned it off and taken it out. So MSI's GTX 1080 Gaming X is actually quite an interesting card. Now in terms of performance, this can obviously vary very much in terms of uh, you know, the overclock you set, including the overclock you set in MSI's sort of gaming app type thing, um, as well as obviously any factory overclock, uh, aftermarket overclocks you do to it. Um, and also the reason I don't include overclocks in my videos is because I am literally the worst person to, to overclock in the world. Uh, I break things very easily and I'd rather not break things that I have to send back. So. Uh, uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, one thing I do want to mention though is the 8 pin power connector at plus the 6 pin power connector does mean that there's an extra bit of overclocking headroom for the people who actually have some talent and uh, yeah, it's it's awesome that it's included and the uh, other thing was that this card is actually really massive. It's not as long as for example the Gigabyte G1 card but it is ridiculously wide. I mean when I picked that up it was the first thing. just how big is this thing? The fans on there are actually pretty massive. I mean, they feel like they're almost 120 mil fans on there. Like that's how big it feels when you actually have it. Um, in front of you. Another thing is that um, when uh, the card was running, even though the temperatures that it records are, uh, the highest temperature I saw was 71 degrees in the core, um, that's kind of because the fans don't turn on, on, on much, but the actual graphics card, especially the back plate, gets ridiculously hot. Um, when I turned the system off and then went to take it out to take the thumbnail picture, um, it was ridiculous, like it almost burned my hand and the system had been off for a few minutes. Um, so that's just to, to give you an idea of how hot the card gets very but in terms of the actual temperatures it's pretty low and it's pretty low noise as well because there's only two fans they run at relatively low rpm and the cool thing is that they stay off the majority of the time which obviously means the actual card gets hotter but that uh, you know you have some pretty nice and quiet temperatures so that's pretty awesome 
Um, so in terms of pros and cons, besides the fact that it is a really expensive card in general, as are all GTX 1080s, it does really well at 4K. I actually really do like the styling of it and the uh, you know LED effects are always nice to see. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a nice style card. Obviously the IO is fairly standard, so I uh, can't really mention too much. There is a decent IO especially with DisplayPort uh, 1.3 slash 1.4 uh, and HDMI 2.0, so that's always nice. And uh, yeah, the extra six pin is always good too. So despite it getting you know, hot to touch, which if it's staying in a PC, you probably won't mind, um, I don't really have anything negative to say about it. In terms of scoring, I'm gonna go for a four for Vive Money. I'm gonna go for five for performance because it does a really good job and five for functionality. Uh, I'm going to have to go for 5 for style and a 5 for Tectum Beauty score and I think I'm going to go for the Gold Award because it really is an awesome graphics card if you have the money for it. If not, there's always the 1070 and you know possibly 1060 actually. That, that's just The pricing has just been announced as of uh, recording this video. So that's pretty awesome and uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to check out my Amazon affiliate links in the description down below if you want to pick up this card or anything else. It genuinely helps me keep these videos going. And uh, yeah, other than that, I've got plenty of other GTX 1080 videos, including the uh, Gigabyte G1 and the ASUS Strix. If you want to check those out, I'll try and leave a card. Uh, I think it's up there uh, in the uh, in the video. So uh, yeah, go check those out. And otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.